Hi guys, uh, so today I want to talk a little bit about a topic and I hope that this topic can probably relate to someone out there other than myself. What do you really do when you feel like the world is against you? I thought very deeply about this topic for a very long time, uh, especially since I've, went, I've gone through situations where I felt as though I was really alone in life in terms of what I was going through, what, uh, the problems, the issues that um, made me feel as though I was alone in life. And I want to tell you that if you are out there and you do feel that way, that you are not really alone in life. A lot of people go through life, a lot of us go through life and of course life has its ups and downs. And so too, you know, sometimes we think of ourselves being uh, a single person. You know, like when we, uh, when we have to die, God forbid, we will be dying alone. But the thing about it is that we all may be different, and I mean different in terms of personality, I mean different in terms of a lot of different things, how we look, etc., how we think, etc. But a lot of us are similar in how we feel our emotions. It may not be the exact thing. For example, there are different uh, definitions of love, different definitions of anger, and so forth. But at the end of the day, we all do at some point in time feel loved. We all do at some point in time feel angered. We all at some point in time feel happy and sad and so forth. So to say that we are absolutely alone in life, it's not really that case. We do share as people we do share um, similar similar feelings with others and therefore we are not really as alone as we think however a lot of the times we are not always honest with ourselves and so we tend to hide that feeling of being alone being sad being angry and so forth we tend to hide that for ourselves only we do you know a lot of the times even when we post on Facebook it's normally nice happy stuff we don't want people to know that we have problems or we have weaknesses etc but I want to say that in order to deal with feeling alone in life we need to understand that we are not the only ones that go through issues in life uh, a lot of the times you know some even me as a person I've looked at other people and I've said oh they have life so good and you know taking for granted perhaps that my life is also good that it is not entirely bad and so when you're going through life, life will have its ups and its downs. And so you have to remember that this is not necessarily the worst, but that other people around are going through these issues. And sometimes that brings comfort, sometimes it may not. What do you do when you feel alone in life? Well, you continue to persevere. Of course, if you feel alone in life in a bad way, for example, if, you, if there are people who think that you are a mean person, for example, and you're alone in life because of that, then you also have, and you have to understand that you have the choice to change that. And that choice is up to you. There's, there's no one else that could really change that for you if you don't change it. So if you become unhappy, you feel alone in life, and people are telling you, well, it's because you're mean, etc., then that would be a reason. You know, a negative vibe would probably tell you, well, hey, something might be up with me. And so I, you look at yourself and say, Does, is that person really making sense? And if there is a glimmer of sense in that, then the chances are that you are you've really seen it your way. But that glimmer is really a big sign that maybe there is something to change. But I would say, if there isn't something that you agree with, if it's not something that you agree with, that you're not mean, you're a positive person, happy person, and so forth around these people, and yet still you are alone or you feel sad, etc., then you need to hold on. You need to hold on and you need to fight for what you believe in. And I don't mean fight physically, but the fact that there may be stimuli trying to change you, you have to decide whether it is more important for you to change as a person or for that stimuli to push, be pushed back. And so only you could make that decision. So when you're alone in life, you have the option of coming out of that. And in order to do that, you need to decide whether you can change how you are or whether you are really not doing anything wrong but being misunderstood for that example. Um, 
So I just want to say, if you do feel in, alone in life, that you don't have to feel alone in life. And a lot of the times that could be easily resolved, perhaps by finding someone that you can trust. Maybe that could be your wife or your girlfriend, your boyfriend, etc. And or perhaps it might just be a very good friend. And when, wh even while trusting, you need to understand that we all are not perfect, and therefore we will make mistakes, etc. So you need to cater for that in the formula of how your mind thinks. And in that way, you find the person or the persons that are closest to how you um, see life as, or uh, people that you can share how you feel with without being judged and without being damaged. And you will realize that in life, there are good things to look forward to. And remaining unhappy or remaining alone is not necessarily the best thing for you. With that being said, if you are an independent person, you are a lone wolf, nothing is wrong with that. You can continue to be like that, but you, there, there will be times where you may be uh, put in a position to choose whether or not. So in life, life is of course a bit complicated. I'm just speaking from my experience as well. You have the option to choose not to be lonely in life. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like my channel. Uh, please like the video if you disagreed about something let me know and uh, perhaps probably if you have any other tips that I forgot out there that is important please let me know as well thanks again and see you soon bye bye